congratulate you, Ellen, on this beautiful set. Thank you. It's... And on your your new move. Yeah, it's a new move. It's a new move. I'm, on... I'm all settled down now. It's a good thing. But yeah. I, I brought you your what hopefully will be your first uh, studio warming gift all the okay. way from the Windy City. Oh, really? It was picked out by Sasha, my youngest, or it was, it's her theme. She collects snow globes. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Sasha picked it out? Well, it, it was her, one of her ideas. She collects, she, she wants Barack, wherever he goes, to bring back a snow globe. And how many do you have now? Oh, she's got 20 something. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So think Look. of Sasha and Malia. I will. You. Thank you. And I have for you, Nair. Oh, pop. <laughs> Thank you. I will, I will treasure this always. You're welcome. <laughs> the Portia picked that out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So, and, and I have to say, now it's one thing for, for your husband to say, I'm going to run for president, but then you're, you're now roped into it. You've got to speak at the, by the way, you did an amazing Thank job. You. Amazing. Thank you. And, but I can't imagine how nerve wracking that must be to know that you have to stand up there and deliver that speech to, to millions of people watching. It was, it was, it was nerve wracking. <laughs> yeah, but just to give you a sense of how we're, we we maintain our groundedness, mm -hmm. when I walked off the stage from giving that speech, Malia, our oldest, came up to me and she said, "Mom, I have something important to tell you." And I was like, "What? What? What is it?" We have to have a sleepover tonight. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, kid, the biggest speech of my life. All right. and this is the first yeah. thing you have to say. That's hilarious. To me, is that you want a sleepover? That's hilarious. That's the sort of yin and yang right. of this year. Keeps you. It keeps you real. They don't you know? care. No, they don't doing. care. Right. That's but they all. must know. I mean, do they realize what a big event this is? That your that their dad could be the first African-American president? Yeah, we did talk about that. On the, the night that he actually secured the nomination, we were in uh, uh, Minnesota, I think, is mm -hmm. where he did the, I see, I lose track. Yeah. Um, so I came home late. I tried to get home before the next morning. Mm -hmm. So I got home at one o'clock and woke the girls up at seven in the morning and we get in bed and we, we cuddle and we talk. And I said, you know, something big happened last night. I said, Dad, um, is probably going to be the nominee. I said, do you realize what a big deal that is? And Malia, the oldest, said, yeah, because uh, African Americans, we didn't have the right to vote, and, you know, so yeah, I, I get it. She said, without taking a breath, she said, but it would have been just a big a deal if Hillary Clinton had won, too. She said, because women didn't have the right to vote, and it would have wow. been pretty special if she had won, too. So. Wow. We asked our viewers to uh, go to our website and ask questions, saying that you would be on. Uh, and so they, the first question is, can you describe yourself in three words? Um, mom and down to earth. That's more than, it depends on how you. Yeah. <laughs> mom down to earth. That's four words. Let's say two. OK, mom down mom to earth. Mom down to earth. Yeah, so down to earth is, is hyphenated. It's one then word. Then you need one more. Oh, gosh. Uh, uh, wife. Mm-hmm. All right. For now. So the, yeah. This year. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> then it'll be first lady. It'll be mom, mom down, down to earth, earth first, first lady. lady. Let's go yeah. for that. That was from uh, Becky Orlando in uh, Santa Paula. Just give her a shout out. Um, and Kim Bowman from Knox, Pennsylvania says, I noticed during the convention that Sasha seemed to have lost a tooth, a top tooth. Oh. What does the tooth uh, fairy pay for a lost tooth? Yeah. <laughs> Sasha has three teeth in her mouth left. Mm -hmm. We call her three teeth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She'll be horrified that I'm in. See, uh -huh. she's got three. Right now, that the seems like a lot more teeth than three. You, you know, there are three in there. Uh, OK. <laughs> All right. Uh, three dollars. The tooth fairy's been bringing three dollars. Per tooth, even a front one. Wouldn't that be worth more? You know, more? I don't understand how the tooth fairy works, oh. but yeah. it's been three dollars yeah. consistently. Yeah, you have nothing to do with it, so whatever they you pay, know, they I pay. Don't, I haven't spoken to the tooth fairy. Right. I don't know how they calculate their fees. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right. Well, Auntie Ellen will kick something in because I think they need more. You but think three isn't? I don't know. I, I actually I got like twenty five cents or something. Well, that's what we got. I yeah. thought that was a pretty good yeah. deal. You're right. You should get some money back from her. <laughs> you, should, you should ask for about a dollar fifty back. A dollar fifty. Sasha, we're gonna get some money back. Honey. All right. Um, <laughs> All right, so and uh, so, I, like I said, I've been married 24 days. You've been married for 16 years. It'll be 16 October 16 the third this year. And and your uh, <laughs> your advice is because you seem very. When I see you two together, you seem very loving and very uh, still very uh, uh, close. Yeah, we. Uh, you, I think uh, laughter is huge, mm -hmm. and I think you have that down. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, and uh, I love that picture. and and mutual respect. Uh, mm -hmm. I think the the one thing that Barack has always done is um, he supported me in everything that I've done. Mm -hmm. uh, he's always had my back. Mm -hmm. um, so when you respect one another, uh, it's easy to get through the hard times and uh, you know continue to like the person. Mm -hmm. So you have to keep doing stuff that reminds you why you not just love them but why you like them as people. It, yeah, you gotta like them too. Gotta like them. Very important. Last time you had to, to join us via Zoom, yeah. and now you get to be with people. This is my first live audience in like two years. You guys, this is so good. I miss people, like right there. Here, here they are. They're right there. I know, it feels really good. I like people too, and yeah. it's really nice to have people here. It's so sad when people are not around other people. It's not a good thing. No, it's not normal. No. Well, you're also extra lonely because you had a full house during COVID. Well, it's still uh, ongoing, but w at the height of it, your daughters were home, and now they're gone, so it's an empty house. Bye. <laughs> 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 they're gone. No, it was it was it was an extra spe special treat to have them that little bit of time mm -hmm. because being with them as adults. Mm -hmm is it's fun. I mean, I love them at every age. That was Sasha's graduation from high school. She is in college and they are doing well and they are just amazing young women. How old are they now? Uh, 23 and 20. Whoa. Women, I know, it's scary. They were like, I think the first time you were here, mm -hmm. before your husband was president even, you came here with them. They were eight and ten. They were babies. And just to see the Jonas Brothers. They love you. The brought Jonas them to Brothers. see the Jonas Brothers. Now and they're bringing grown men home. Uh, <laughs> before it was just like a uh, pop band. Now they have boyfriends and real lives and all that stuff. But yeah, they have grown up right before our very eyes, and they are doing well. I mean, it was. Yeah, I was going to say. So, so it was very important to both of you to raise them. It's, it, you know, to grow up in the White House yeah. with, with, you know, people serving you all the time and taking care mm -hmm. of you, to then all of a sudden go back into the real world. Yeah. And they've really adjusted. Well, we, you know, that was sort of our philosophy. And, you know, not just in the White House. I, 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 I listened to what my mother said when she was raising us. She says, I'm not raising babies. I'm raising real people to be out in the world. And I kept that in mind with the girls. I mean, they wouldn't always be in that bubble of the White House. So... They had to learn how to make their beds. They had to learn how to drive. They had to learn how to be compassionate, independent, responsible people uh, so that they enter the world as responsible, compassionate, capable people. And I think they are amazing young women because of that. So. Yeah, it's hard to do that in that environment. Yeah, yeah. And that picture that we showed just now of the family, uh, y'all just look so relaxed and so happy. And, and you and, uh, and Barack are celebrating your 30-year wedding anniversary. 30 years. That's, That's impressive. I've, I've known him for a long time, that guy's yeah. been around, yeah. hanging out. <laughs> and, and you know, a, a lot of relationships go through a lot of things mm -hmm. to test it. I'd imagine your partner being president of the United States would be very stressful. That to was a hassle. Yeah. That was, yeah. That was a thing. Yeah. Um, but it, it brought us closer and uh, it gave us an opportunity to do something outside of ourselves, to serve our country, to do it as a team. Um, I respect him. I know a lot of people miss him right around now. Yep. Um. <laughs> yep. Yeah.
But yeah, it, uh, um, amazingly, that time in the White House, because we were working on hard things all the time, it brought us closer. We had to be each other's best friends. Yeah. We lived in the bubble with each other, um, had to learn how to get along because he was the person I was seeing all the time. He's the only person that we're, we're, we understand what we both went through. And yeah. we have that unique experience. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah. yeah. Uh, who else can? Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. mean, a couple of people that you could talk to that that you know that had that same experience. A couple of people you'd want to. Yeah. Um, but uh, <laughs> so if you look I, at, I think you all got. One. Well, uh, if you look at what uh, what he was not great at 30 years ago, <laughs> and what he's better at now, and vice versa, what are they? Uh, he's pretty good at golf now. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing a lot of golf. Uh huh. Um, not so good at picking up after himself. <laughs> no, he had he, a lot of help doing that. He, yeah. He thinks he's good at it, at it, but he he had a lot of help. You're right. He's he's gotten a little worse at that. So he got used to that bubble of everybody. Oh, we yeah. all did. Yeah. Let sure. Me say, you know, it's not like I'm I miss cooking or anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we never really spoke uh, about the when I received the Presidential Medal of Freedom, mm. but but building up to to first of all getting the phone call that that I was going to receive the the Medal of Freedom was just unbelievable. When I got the phone call, so when I got the phone call, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. And then it kind of just like you know building up you know for the next month or two or whatever it was till I went to Washington to receive it. I wasn't really yeah. you know everybody's like you know no big deal. I was. I was acting like, you know, and everybody's like, you got to feel this. you got to take it in. And I was like, yeah. And I really didn't feel anything until I was sitting there, until the president of the United States was, was speaking about me. And I, of all the people mm -hmm. in the audience, I locked eyes with you. And you just kept shaking your head mm -hmm. like that. And I just, so I started shaking my yeah. head. And you <laughs> kind of got tears in your eyes. I got tears in my eyes. And then I just started <laughs> sobbing because I was looking at you. Just, I just, both of us were just looking at each other. Yeah. But I just locked in with you. And Well, what they do is that they read your accomplishments. And at that moment, as they're pinning the medal, as Barack is pinning the medal around your neck, you know, a military aid is going over your history, the impact that you've made, the doors you've broken down. And I don't think, you know, to be in the East Room of the White House in that ceremony and to hear your accomplishments being read out like that. And I knew that you, that it was clicking for you that this was happening. And I was like, yep, it's, <laughs> it's about you. Yeah. yeah. Got gotcha you now. Yeah. <laughs> You're used to getting people, but here you are. Yeah. But I, yeah. you know, that, that was a moment. And I'm glad that it didn't go, uh, uh, un, un, unnoticed by you that it that you were able to take it in. Yeah. That was a powerful, yeah. powerful moment. Touched, well deserved. Well, it touched me and it and it started our friendship. Yeah, I, I love it. it.